Orion took Survivor to another dimension for he understood that he would be a handful for the military and the only better way for Orion to travel through dimensional portals is by human sacrifice. Survivor wasn't pleased with this idea for as a hero of the people it was abominable but Orion assured him that the victims he used as a pathway was a hitman and a pedophile. In annoyance Survivor blasted Orion and warned him not to ever repeat such act around him again. The only reason they are not in conflict was that Orion for some reason made a bargain with Survivor that he knows how to kill the Plutonian and Survivor who had been enraged with vengeance agreed in exchange he won't kill Orion. In truth Orion has something up his sleeve. The military were aware that they did not capture all the members of the Paradigm for Bettinor and Survivor's location was unknown. Under the captivity of the military, Cubit was trying to his best to communicate with his colleagues in captivity through a light bulb in his cell for he couldn't use his powers for there was nothing of use for him to use. At first, Volt thought he was going loony when the light bulb in his cell was talking to him but later realized that it was the doing of Cubit. Kaidan couldn't talk back for she was gagged while heartbroken Gilgamesh refused to respond for he was lost in thought reminiscing about his past for this was not the first time he had been in captivity and in prison so he decided to break the bones of his wing to unlock the door of his prison. After a while Cubit heard a commotion outside his cell and when his cell door opened he was surprised to see Bettinor and Kaidan who was been losing from her bond. Although glad to be free Volt couldn't help himself by digging it into Betty Noor. When they got to Gilgamesh's cell, he was gone. The only thing that was in the cell was his torn out wing and blood. Understanding why Gilgamesh left his colleagues behind, Betty Noor took them to their house in search for him. Volt was still angry with Betty Noor, but Cubit told Volt to lay off her. When they got into the house, Gilgamesh had turned the house upside down. Apparently, he was looking for the candle wax that can make the plutonium mortal in which it will be easy to kill him once and for all and he had found it in a shape of a bullet. Bettinor begged him not to do anything drastic for she feared for his life and thinking that in his present condition he was no match for the Plutonian. But Gilgamesh made it known that he has help and his help was by making an alliance with Survivor and Orion. So Orion told Bettinor that if she wants forgiveness and redemption that it would be appropriate for her to take the shot at the Plutonian without any objection she agreed and followed them not listening to Cubit who was warning them not to trust Orion for he will kill them all when he has the chance. Orion the demon hunter has the ability to track anyone but survivor told him not to bother that he knows how to draw out the Plutonian by making their location known which was the Grand Canyon for it will minimize collateral damage and out of nowhere Samsara whom had been inhabited by Modius appeared from nowhere. They were shocked to see him alive and in his right senses. He warned them about the Plutonian for he is angry and he is coming for them.